Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. We are good to be back. I uh, got a good one for you today. Going to get into Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano Part 2. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes out to every single major fight, showing how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, so join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the little ticket below. Five dollars a month gets you the lock of the week, which we hit last week. Uh, we're gonna put a, a real good string together here. Got a good lock coming out for you this week as well. Um, so join the Patreon. Get the lock of the week. Ask the bookie anything. You get you get asked to book anything. You get uh, the updated props. The props are on out. Come on over to the Patreon. Uh, we'll show you how to make money on the props as well. We'll show you how to make money on every single fight. Uh, you can request a video, ask the book anything. Of course, get the lock of the week. It's just $5 a month. Also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. And after you do that, head on over to carnivorebar.com. That's carnivorebar.com. Uh, the nutrition of a steak with the convenience of a bar. That's carnivorebar.com. Use promo code BOXING at checkout on the move nutrition without compromise. Use promo code BOXING to save 10% at checkout. Uh, that's Promo code BOXING to save 10% at checkout, carnivalbar.com. Uh, you can find the link for that in the description as well. All right, let's get into today's show. Let's get into today's show. Um, all right. Uh, the first fight, and, and I'm going to, I thought Serrano won the first fight. I thought she won clearly. This is a, a bit more complicated than that. Uh, it's a bit complicated. It is a really good fight. These are are two of the best female fighters of all time of their generation. Two really, really, really good, high level, top notch fighters. Uh, Serrano fundamentally sound, has a nice jab, works behind it. Up, pretty standard Puerto Rican stance and style. Uh, she's southpaw, uh, front foot come forward. She was the aggressor in the first fight. She she usually fights a little bit more come forward than Katie Taylor. Clean shots, straight shots. You stays calm for an aggressive fighter. It's fundamentally sound. Long, she's long. She uses her distance. She creates distance. Uses her range really well. She stalks with the jab. Good volume. Persistent puncher. Uh, she likes to work. She likes to work. She stays on you. She doesn't let you get comfortable in there. She's really good at keeping you on the defensive, keeping you guessing. Um, Good ring IQ, really high IQ fighter. Uses uses the ring, can walk you down, can push you backwards. Marches forward. She's physically strong, stronger than she looks. You know, she's got that tall, kind of thin frame, wiry frame, but she's, she's physically strong. She's got that skinny guy strength for, for for a girl. Doesn't have a ton of snap on her punches. But she maintains the distance as well. She's, she's accurate from the outside. She can work her way in. She can force you backwards. She's got really good timing on her counters. Good volume. She doesn't let you rest. She's got that nice popping jab. She's, she's hard to win rounds with. She's on the offensive. She lands. She's got a good jab. She closes the distance. She great distance. She can do what she wants in the ring. She's a really, really high level fighter. I thought she won the first fight. I thought she won competitively, but I thought she clearly won the fight. Uh, it went to Katie Taylor, no surprise. Katie Taylor, good movement, excellent, excellent feet, world class feet. Gets in and out well, sharp counter puncher, really the better counter puncher of the two. And uh, Serrano is no slouch; she's an excellent counter puncher herself. Nice, crisp, clean shots. Throws the cleaner shots. Throws nicer shots. Excellent movement, really, really well. Uses the ring. Uses the ring exceptionally well. Really excels and really comfortable in exchanges. Sharp and accurate. Really good bounce rhythm. She's definitely a rhythm fighter. Uh, she's got great feet. She gets in and out. She's bouncing. She's scoring. She's really, really good on her feet. She throws in good combinations. And she needs to do that more. There's a lot of times it's one shot at a time when she counters. Put, put, put a hook behind it. Throw twos, two, two punches at a time. Mix in that three. Uh, great timing on her counter. She's really, really terrific counter puncher. She's fundamentally sound. She's just exceptionally disciplined, high level, high level fighter uh, who does 
a lot of things right. Not a, a tremendous athlete, but good balance. Like she maximizes everything she has. She's got that terrific counter right hand. Doesn't have great speed, which is where I, I think Serrano can win this fight. But ultimately, I, I think this is going to be similar to the first fight, except I think Serrano now at 36 probably slowed down a bit. And I, I think that we're looking at a very, very close fight again. If I had to guess, I would say Taylor by decision. Going to be very, very close. Let's take a look at how to make money on this fight. Uh, I think this is an excellent fight. We're going to high level, really good fight. I like two bets here. Okay. One here is I love the over, to go the distance, put on all of that. Build your parlay around this fight's going to the distance. No one's getting knocked out of this fight. Hurrah, I'll bet. Uh, $18.18, but this is what we're building our parlay around. It's minus 550. This is what you want to build build around. And we can bring this down with other bets, but this fight, they go the distance at minus 550. That's the staple that we're building this around. Uh, when I hit my parlay, I would take some of that and uh, put it on Katie Taylor by decision. I like Katie Taylor by decision. It's basically paying even money. It's minus 105. I'll bet it's going to make you 95.23. 95.23. Three. Let me know what you guys think. You know, look, this is kind of iffy. I, I'm leaning towards Katie Taylor. I had to pick a win. I'm taking Katie Taylor by decision. I think there's two possible outcomes in this fight. Katie Taylor by decision. Amanda Serrano by decision. I think it's much more likely Katie Taylor gets the decision. Although this is not a, a zone card. It's not, it's not a matchroom card. She's not going to have that in her favor when it goes to the scorecards. I do think she lost the, the first fight, but I, I think she's going to do better this fight. I think Serrano's – I think she's going to do better because I think Serrano's aged. Uh like I said, basically even money. Katie Tell by decision, minus 105. I would take that, and I would build my parlay around this fight to go the distance. I'm extremely confident in this fight going the distance. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing, blog, and all forms of social media. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also not a little ticket below. Please smash the like button on the way out. It is October 12, 2024. From Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.